Hey guys, welcome back to Rapid Piano. It's Ronald here, and in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at how to play Ashes by Celine Dion. And this is how the intro sounds. Alright guys, so there we have it. So this is part one of the tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to play the intro and verse. For the full song tutorial where I show you how to play the pre-chorus and the chorus etc. You can go onto my website rapidpiano.com. The link is down here in the description. So let's get into it guys. Now how do we start playing the intro? So the first chord that we want to learn is a C minor chord which is like this. So that's C in your left, G, C and E flat in your right. Now the actual counts for this song, it's like a four count beat, all right? So it goes like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on, all right? So the first chord, like I said, is a C minor chord. So now we're going to play this for two counts. So one, two. Now, as you can see now, my left hand is only playing on the count of one, all right? Whereas my right hand is playing for the two counts. So one, two, and then you change to your next chord, which is a B flat chord. So that's B flat in your left, F, B flat, and D in your right. And this chord you're going to play it uh, for three, four, all right? So we do from the beginning one, two, three, four. And then you change to your next chord, which is an A flat chord. So that's A flat in your left, E flat, A flat, and C in your right. And you, again, you're going to play that for two counts. So let's do it from the beginning, guys, really slowly. There's three chords, all right? Here we go. One, two, three, four, A flat. One, two, and then you change your next chord, which is E flat. So that's E flat in your left, B flat, E flat, and G in your right. And this is on the count of three, all right? So three. And for the fourth count, you're going to play this chord, which is basically like a B flat over D. So the B flat chord on your right, you're going to play B flat, D, and F. And then your left hand, you're going to play D. So it's B flat over D for the fourth count. So let's do it from the beginning really, really slowly, all right? Here we go again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. So you see, we're not playing the, uh, this chord for two times. We're playing three, and then we're going to four again which is the next chord. So let's play it at the normal tempo and then we'll carry on from there, from the beginning again. One, two. All right, well done guys. Now what we're doing from here on, we're just going to repeat like that first part of the line that we learned, you know, towards the beginning. But the difference is instead of playing it here, we're going to play it here. An octave lower so it goes like this two three four and then you just hold out the last chord for the full four counts which is the a flat chord one two three four and that's your intro all right so let's do the full intro now really slowly so you can see what we're doing here so from the beginning one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and repeat it on the lower octave. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
So that's your intro guys, so to make sure you understand it, let's do it one more time at the normal tempo from the beginning. Here we go. And then she starts singing the verse. Now for the verse, the first verse is uh, very, very similar to the intro actually. So you're just going to play that intro again twice, but there's a very slight difference, which I'll show you again. So let's say the intro is over now and then she starts singing. All right, so you're going to play the same thing. And you see this A flat chord here, instead of just holding it down for the full four counts, we're going to play it like four times. So one, two, three, four. Okay, whereas your left hand, you're just going to hold down the A flat. But for your right hand, you're going to play for the four counts. One, two, three, four. And then you repeat that full section again. So if you were to play the verse by itself now from the beginning, the verse is going to sound like this. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Then it goes into the pre-chorus. Alright guys, so that's how you play the first verse. Now when it comes to the second verse in the song, it's slightly different, alright? So the only difference is, now instead of starting to play on this octave here, on this higher octave, you're just going to move down and you're going to start to play on this lower octave like this. But you're going to play the exact same thing. So if I play the full second verse to you, it's going to sound like this, alright? This is the full second verse. And then I come back here. One, two, three, four. And that's it. Okay, because your second verse is slightly shorter compared to your first verse. All right. So you're playing the exact same thing. Let me play that one more time just to make sure you get it. So here we go. And then after that, it goes into the pre-chorus. So it's pretty same to the first verse, guys. The only difference is, like I said, you're moving it one octave lower, and then you're only playing that full section, like for one time, you're not repeating it twice, like the first verse, all right? Because the second verse is a little bit shorter than the first verse. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel for regular tutorials like this. And for the full song tutorial, like I said, you can go onto my website, rapidpiano.com. The link is down here in the description. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.